Okay, so yesterday we read about St. Benedict, remember? And he didn't really like how the world was, so he went into the mountain and started a community there. And other people started to live there that were good, and they studied, and they prayed, and they were called the monks. And so St. Benedict has a sister. Her name is St. Scholastica. St. Scholastica. Let's see. So it says, St. Benedict, her brother, was the first of the holy monks. St. Scholastica was his beloved sister. He built monasteries, which are places for holy men, and she built convents for holy women. And they did this, remember, because they didn't like how the world was looking. They didn't want to be a part of all the bad things that were happening. Those were evil days and were full of dangers for good women. Bands of wicked soldiers roamed all over the world. So St. Scholastica built lovely convents. They were full of peace. Women came there and they were safe. St. Benedict loved his sister very much. One day he sat and talked with her about God. Night came and he said, I must go back home. So he came over to where she lived, which is down the mountain, and they were talking for a long time, and then it was nighttime, and he said to her, I have to leave, okay? Please don't go, she said. She knew that that night she was going to die. <gasps> when her brother Benedict insisted upon leaving, he says, no, I really have to go. You're not going to die. I really have to go. You know what she did? She bowed her head and she prayed. Dear God, please, please make my brother Benedict stay here. I don't want to be alone. Suddenly, a great storm burst. The wind blew, the rain fell, the lightning flashed. Benedict could not go back up the mountain. So all night long, they sang together. They prayed together. They talked about God. Three days later, St. Scholastica died, and Benedict saw her soul going up to heaven in the form of a pure white dove. And her special day is February 10th, which is tomorrow. So something cool about this story is that in Italy, which is where they lived, and on the top of the mountain where St. Benedict built his community, there's a place called Monte Cassino. And in Monte Cassino, there were never any doves. There were never any white doves. And it says in the story that when St. Scholastica died, her soul, which is like the goodness inside of her, went up to heaven in the form of a white dove. Now in Monte Cassino at the top of the mountain where Benedict lives, after St. Scholastica died, white doves started to be all around and live there. And if you go there today, if you ever go to Italy or your mommy and daddy go to Italy and you go to Monte Cassino, you can still see the white doves that are living there. And it's the story, it's, it's reminding us that St. Benedict and St. Scholastica loved each other very much. Cool story. I've been there and I saw the white doves when I went there. All right. Remember yesterday we went one page ahead. So we're going to go one page back and we're going to do St. Scholastica. Now we're going to color her today how she looked. She was a nun or a sister. And so she is going to be kind of all in black. Remember yesterday we did St. Benedict. He was a monk and he wore brown. St. Scholastica is going to be wearing black. Oh, my black doesn't work very well. That's okay. I can press really hard and make it work. And her sleeves. And we're going to add some details to our picture today. We're going to draw the storm. She knew she was going to die, right? She didn't want her brother to leave her. She wanted 
him to stay, so she prayed to God, God, please, please make Benedict stay. And so God came up with a plan. He would send a storm that would make it so Benedict couldn't go back up the mountain. He had to stay with his sister. So I'm gonna do a little black with my marker, and then I'm also gonna do this with my crayon. Just so you can see the outline of the shape there. This part right here is white, right above her head, and her halo. There's her hand holding her staff. Now she wasn't a shepherd. I don't think they had sheep. They might have had sheep there, but she probably has a staff because they kind of lived in the country. Benedict, he lived in the mountain, remember? Maybe he needed it like as a walking stick. But who knows? You can decide what color you want her shoes to be. And then we're gonna make the storm. So to make the storm, I'm gonna use my gray marker. I'm gonna make gray clouds. And then storm clouds are gray on the inside. I'm gonna color them gray with my crayon. All right. And then I'm gonna make it rain and I'm gonna also make some lightning. So lots of rain. You can just do lines for raindrops like this. And I'm gonna use my yellow, I'm gonna make zigzags to show lightning. Now we can't draw thunder because thunder you only hear it but lightning, you can see it. And then when you're ready, you can trace her name too. Saint Scholastica was her name. It's a long name. All right, press pause if you need to finish.